Hello everybody, how's it going? Welcome back. In this video we are going to learn all about inline SVG. Inline SVG gives us the ability to embed vector graphics directly into our website. By the way, this video is part of a larger course about Bootstrap Studio. You can find the full course on Udemy or Skillshare. Check out the link in the description. SVG is an example of a graphics format. When it comes to graphics, you can choose either raster graphics like PNG or JPG or bitmap for example, or vector graphics. Raster images are essentially just a grid of pixels and each pixel has a color value. Vector graphics on the other hand are a set of shape and color instructions. The most common type of vector graphic file format is called SVG. SVG stands for Scalable Vector Graphics. Generally speaking, when it comes to the web, it's better to use vector graphics rather than raster graphics. This is because generally vector graphics are smaller file size. They are resolution independent, so you don't have to worry about what size the screen you're using. Also, any kind of text included in the image will be identified as text, which means it can easily be picked up by the search engine, for example. And one last benefit of the SVG file type is that it's reasonably easy to, for a human being to read it. Like HTML, it consists of elements and tags and properties, so it can be more or less understood by human beings and can also unambiguously be interpreted by a computer. For the purpose of this tutorial, I have created a simple logo in Inkscape. Inkscape is a free and open source software application which can be used to create vector graphics. It is one of my absolutely favorite pieces of software. And it also just so happens that I have courses about Inkscape too, which you can find on Udemy and Skillshare. Or you can find some of my free tutorials on YouTube. When it comes to importing SVG images, we can drag and drop it just like we do for other images. A better way, though, would be to copy the SVG code into a custom block. This way we have direct access to the content of the image. To do that, we first open the SVG file in a simple text editor. Having opened the SVG file, we see that there's a lot that we understand. I mean, don't get me wrong, there's a lot of like abracadabra in here, but we can see at first glance quite a lot, which is clear for anybody. Once open in the text editor, let's select all the text by pressing Ctrl A and copy it to the clipboard by pressing Ctrl C. Then go back to the Bootstrap Studio and paste it into a custom code component as we learned to do in a previous video. Now we have this SVG code embedded in our HTML. This is called inline SVG. Unfortunately, Bootstrap Studio cannot interpret this code live right now, so we need to create a preview to see what it looks like. So one good thing about using inline SVG is that the text is embedded in the website. So for example, when it comes to search engine optimization, this is a big advantage. And another big advantage is that we can manually make simple edits to the text quite easily. For example, let's change the text on the logo, just search to find the text. and edit it. It's also quite simple to change the color of any of the objects in the logo. We just need to change the fill property. We can even link these colors to the variable colors which we have defined in a previous video.
This way, if we decide to change our palette, the logo will be updated. And another really cool thing about inline SVG is that we can even use JavaScript to control the properties of the SVG elements. In case you're interested in JavaScript, we will learn more about JavaScript in a future chapter. One thing we should be aware of though is that because this is a custom code, we cannot use the appearance panel to set styling. But there's a quick way around that. We can easily set the class manually and then set the styling. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching. In the next chapter, we're going to learn all about adding forms and we're going to learn about adding smart forms, wherein the user is able to send the filled out form straight to our email address. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching. So I'll see you there. Have a good day. Bye bye. So I hope you liked this video. If you did, why not support this channel by liking and subscribing? You can also check out my website for more free stuff. So long for now, see you in the next video. Bye bye.